Hello, everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. Let me just begin by thanking you and just being grateful for you studying the Word of God. It always excites me when I see that people have been reading and studying God's Word, and I uh, pray that you are growing in your walk and faith with Him. And if perhaps you don't know Him as your Savior and Lord, that you're finding that the way to know Jesus as your personal Savior is very simple. God made it that way. You believe and trust in his son Jesus who died on the cross for your sins and you receive him into your heart. You believe he he was raised from the dead three days later and the Bible says you shall be saved. And that's uh, the biggest desire I have for this, that people would be saved and that they would grow in the word. We always go to the Lord in prayer as we begin our studies. So if you will, pray with me today. Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you and honor you as we begin this study today, just knowing that you are our true teacher, and uh, we are so appreciative of your word. I'm so thankful, Lord, that you've given us the Bible to study, and also your Holy Spirit, whom you promised, would guide us into all truth, and also empower us to live according to that truth. So we bless you, we honor you today, and we thank you for these things. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. And the title to today's lesson is, Lazarus is Dead. And it's taken from the book of John, chapter 11, verse 14. The Apostle John wrote how Jesus asked, Are there not twelve hours in the day? If any man walk in the day, he stumbles not, because he sees the light of this world. But if a man walk in the night, he stumbles, because there is no light in him. These things said he, after that he had said unto them, Our friend Lazarus sleeps, but I go that I may awake him out of sleep. Then said his disciples, Lord, if he sleeps, he shall do well. Howbeit Jesus spoke of his death, but they thought that he had spoken of taken of rest in sleep. And in chapter 11 and verse 14 of his book, John shared how Jesus told his disciples, Lazarus is dead, where we read, Then said Jesus unto them plainly, Lazarus is dead. The verse reads, Then said Jesus unto them plainly. John began with the words, Then said Jesus, which means, At that time uttered, declared, and proclaimed the Son of God, the Savior of mankind, and God incarnate, whose name means Jehovah is salvation, unto them plainly, or to his disciples, unreservedly, frankly, openly, and without concealment. John shared how Jesus began to speak to his disciples in an unconcealed manner. The verse goes on to say, Lazarus is dead. John continued with the word Lazarus, whose name means whom God heals, is dead, or is without life, vitality, and breath. John shared how Jesus told his disciples Lazarus was without life. When we meditate upon John's words in this verse, we learn how Jesus told his disciples that their friend Lazarus had expired. Jesus referred to Lazarus as sleeping, and this meant he had died. This state before Jesus was no different because he was able to banish both. God loves people, and he desires to have a personal relationship with every person through his son Jesus. All people are spiritually dead before Jesus brings life to them. And when they believe and trust in him, he will forgive their sins and grant them everlasting life with him. And those who are wise will understand their position before God, spiritually dead, and ask Jesus to breathe life into them so they may live before him. Next time, John shares how Jesus told his disciples, I am glad for your sakes that I was not there. So read ahead and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word. In Jesus' name, 